like so. Did they give him an APGAR score? Okay. They didn't tell you? APGAR, APGAR score. The proud mother and father, the heroic mother. <laughs> I know, but he's forgotten about it at the moment anyway, hasn't he? Call him, even if he's even if he's not. Wake him up. <laughs> I I did tell him to get down here, and and he said, nah. he wants to come, but he doesn't want to come. You know, kind of thing. And there was Alexis to deal with. He sure feels small. <laughs> I missed the grandpa. What? What? Yes. I missed him saying grandpa. Oh, the baby boy. He's so sweet. <laughs> um, Kara's doing okay. She's still in pain. Mouth is so tiny. It's actually not working. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. He's got more of a chin than some babies do. You know? See his little chin? How it's distinct. Yes, I see what you mean. Mm -hmm. Is that the most adorable baby you've ever seen? What did he say, Josh? He was, I figured he'd try to be a better sport with you than with me. <laughs> so kind of like when you had your baby. I like those. Well, uh, <laughs> he did show a little more. If he were here, it would be different, but he's sleeping. He, he knows he's going to see it later. I know. What's wrong with that? Wake Their bones are soft. I think he didn't like me putting his head on. It might have even hurt a little bit. You close his head so mm -hmm. well, yeah. uh, I had to wake him up and right shave his head. Right there. How are you feeling by now? A little better? I yeah, I feel fine as long as I just lay here and, and don't move. Have, yeah, don't move. It's awfully hot in here. Are you guys roasting? Oh, okay. Really hot. Then don't worry about it. As long as you are. Did he ever nurse? Did you wash your hands? Oh, mm -hmm. good. Good. At McDonald's in this spot. Mm -hmm. Is there food here? That's funny that you want to. <laughs> you want to see his little fingers? Yes, I do. Is it weird to see the baby that's your brother's? Yes. 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 He doesn't like have any rashes or anything on his face. It's oh nice. My gosh. Like sometimes if they're little, like pimple or something on their nose. A little bit on his nose. Oh yeah, I guess right. <gasps> Usually when they're a little bit overdue, their skin is really dry and you know, kind of oh, peeling. Mm -hmm. Did you see his long thumbnail? Yes. Yeah, his nails. That's what I noticed right when they put him on my stomach. Oh. That, that means he is. Just to think of that. <laughs> and the mom has to do a lot of work, not to mention. I didn't know what was going on, you know, it was like, because when I left the room you weren't feeling anything, you know, they were going to make you try, oh, mm -hmm. and, and it's like, as soon as you, they made you try, it must have became a necessity, is that true? Is that what and happened? 
something happened. I don't know if they turned the medicine down, or, and I was really like weak, and I couldn't lift my legs by myself because they were still a little numb. Oh. And mm -hmm. and I also just to be without it. And so when I had to push and one, you know, someone was doing something else, I'm like, oh, yeah. 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 Daddy Josh. I want. Yeah, it's it's too soon Cute to tell. You guys can start with Yeah. Yeah. Let me see him again, Christy. I gotta well, remember. I Don't trip on that bag now. I think besides that thing on his head, he looks very like a little man. Like a little man. I'm sorry. Not yeah, just like some ugly baby. I think no, so. I think he's actually a very beautiful baby. Mm -hmm. in, in spite of his misshapen head, which <laughs> we're hiding. I know. Mm. And Josh hates his hats. I think they're cute. <laughs> when are we going to put his hat on up? When we're Okay, just a minute. Let me get a video of the Alexis next, okay? Just because I know Kayla wants to so bad, but we're just going to go in order of age. It's okay. He'll be here. He'll still be here, Kayla. <laughs> oh, she's so disappointed. She can hardly live. Don't get frustrated. He'll sense it and he'll be sad. Christy, pull the blanket down a little bit around his face. He's, he's, he's chunky. Not chunky. Right? He is chunky. There's no doubt about it. Oh. Kayla, I'm getting you on video, you know. It's going to go down in history. <laughs> she can't You're wait. Baby. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> That's That's just going to call him Ellsworth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did, Dave didn't bring you any flowers yet, huh? I figured he'd bring you some flowers. No one brought us any flowers. There's still time. <laughs> how, how much longer do you think you'll be here? You, will you think you'll go home tomorrow or the next That's day? What they told Josh tomorrow. He has Chris like really, really fast and has just Chrissy and Cody come out. Chrissy's on Chrissy. four. Mm -hmm. Cody hasn't been here. Cool. Except while she's in the neighbor. Tour guide, what are we doing now? We're going on a tour of the Fisher Steel New Era. Okay, and Steve has probably seen too much of it already. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't be walking and videotaping at the same time. Did you approve of that tree being there? Of the what? Of the cedar tree being trimmed. No, nobody asked my approval on anything, but you know what? I like the way it's looking, so I'm not going <laughs> to say a word. <laughs> Did you approve of it, Larry? Yeah. Well, I liked it that way, but it, but it, it makes more sense. It makes it, more sense, and it still looks nice, it too. It creates a little more room. But, uh, now, should I be getting all this tour on videotape? Well, obviously, you can see we've created all kinds of racks. To, to keep our steel sorted, keep the yard straight and organized. Are they going to move back towards the fence later? Uh, no, because the, towards the fence will be parking. Ah. And the, the employees will come in here, go around, circle around, and then tomorrow Mike's going to bring his tractor in and he's going to clean those blackberries out of there and spread that gravel. Oh, Mike? Mike Fisk. Oh. And then we got a load of, uh, we got 30 railroad ties back there, and they'll put those in there for parking spots. So that will become uh, off street parking. 
And so they, they're going to, this is the main entrance, but they're going to have right, steel gonna parked around, right here. They're going to swing around, park in there, and then leave there. So you'll leave out Oh, I see. Way. I see. It's one-way traffic. Right. That way they can get in when it's, when there's no traffic, we know when there's no trucks, no, mm -hmm. no forklift, they can get in there and then they can leave at the end of their shift. So this, these racks are going to go here. Right. That's right. Easy. Job material to go. So this is where job material is going to go? Right. And, and the racks we just saw are going to hold scrap? The racks are well, there are going to hold scrap. And what's going to happen on this end then, Larry? And this back over in here is becoming is a staging area for this, uh, this decking operation we have going with Jim Kelso. Ah. And I don't know whether that's going to expand beyond that or, or whatever, but... The fence line is going to remain where it is? Pardon? The fence line is going to remain. Yeah that, yeah, that fence line is on the property line. Oh, I see. And of course, then that, that fence line is, is right adjacent to the property line. So that's going to have to be, uh, they'll come back next week and put up that fence. Mm -hmm. So that's about it out here, huh? Yeah, except, uh, you know, we cut the bank back. Yeah. And uh, uh, by cutting the bank back, we created we created skids for specific jobs, and they've assigned color codes to jobs. And um, as, as a result of of what we're doing, is what we should have always done in the past. Is isn't that always the way it goes? Yeah, we're buying we're buying our steel as soon as we can identify. As soon as we're awarded the job. And as soon as we can identify the major members that are hard to come by, then we're buying them. Hmm. In the past, we were waiting until we got approved drawings and buying them. Kind of, we you know we really we would release a cut list or a a list to to Lampros. And then, as we released orders, then Dave Terry would would fill the orders. Mm -hmm. but now, by by buying ahead of time, it allows us to become a little more competitive and, and make Dave Terry uh, keep honest on his pricing because General Steel has has said that they want the world to know that they're in the bean market. Ha, huh. so we have some so, other recourse so now. So we have a recourse to, uh, because right now Dave Terry just has us, has us by the throat and we have to pay what he wants. Mm-hmm. Did David tell you he made a phone call the other day that was worth $2,500? No? What was that one about? Oh, it was on uh, Country Club. I felt Dave Terry's prices were over for too much, and so I gave it to Dave, and he called Dave, and he got a, a penny a pound knocked off of the material. And it was a $2,500 phone call. <laughs> and we do have those, as well as we have the opposite sometimes, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, so that was that was nice. It was very convenient that David was in the office. Yeah. Well, I'm sure he would love to make any phone calls for you of that type any time. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like we don't want to get run over here, do we? Recognize him. Jimmy Platt was in Jake and Christian.
Which one was it, Tom? Just say something. Yeah, he said Philadelphia. What am I doing asking Tom? <laughs> I'm sorry, Tom, I'll let you, I'm sorry. It's a restoration that he wants to do tonight. The create, the renew, the restore. There will be people leave this room tonight, and I know you're going to teach this week transgressors his way. And I pray and believe that some of us will be able to lead sinners to Christ this week. Amen? Amen. Because that's what he does when he creates, renews, and restores. Let's all stand. Matt, could you lead us in worship? The Lord's been working on my heart all night, and uh, He's told me that these kids, these new hires, have a gift for you guys to uh, there's, there's a power when young people worship the Lord. There's a freedom. And I'll challenge you guys to be open for that gift. And I think what that gift is, it's just what Bill's saying. Restoring a childlike joy. Restoring a childlike relationship with the Lord. So as we enter into worship, why don't you guys come down? Let's, let's fill this place. Let's step up. Let's go to the feet of Jesus right now. And let's just worship Him. Thank you, Lord.
just as preparing for this and praying about what the Lord wanted to do tonight, I really sense that restoring the joy of my salvation, His salvation, that God wanted to do that work tonight. That's what He is all about right here, right now. And you know, explaining that, that that's probably means something different for every person in this room. But just as that church in Revelation, the church of Laodicea, one thing is they left the first love. They left Ephesus. Okay. That's one. They left something. And God has to restore that. Pretty sure he does. Rebuild, restore, whatever. And Lord, I just pray right now that you do that in this room. However and wherever, Lord Jesus, that there would be a restoration, that you would bring back a remembrance, even right now, of the greatest event in our life is when we said yes to Christ. At that moment, He put our feet on a path that headed toward eternity. And Jesus, I pray that the joy of that moment would come into our life right now. Right now. In some way, you're sensing, let's speak it right to you right now. Could you lift your hands? And, and it, it's a work. It's an inward thing. And I'm not even going to try to explain it other than the joy of your salvation needs to be restored. The joy of that day when you accepted Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, there needs to be a restoring of that moment. Of that very moment is going to come to this very moment, and there's going to be a restoring, an inward work. Could you lift your hands? Jesus, see us right now. And God, it's not that we've left anything. It's, Lord, we, we're hungry. We want to embrace what you're doing. And, Lord, I pray right now that you would move by the power of your Holy Spirit and bring the restoration power of the Holy Ghost into this place. God, I pray that you would restore unto us the joy of your salvation, the joy of the risen Savior as we are on the eve of celebrating Easter. God, that, that that day that you once and for all proved to mankind that you are the Son of God. I pray that Jesus, you would come into our life in a personal way like never before. The joy of our salvation would be real today. It would be real today. And it would be even more real tomorrow morning. And there would be an everlasting restoring that would take place in this room tonight. There would be a, an, an ever-present reminder of the day of our salvation would come upon us right now, God, as we're lifting our hands before you. Lord, bring that to our remembrance. Lord, in our mind, imprint the work of your spirit of remembering and reflecting that day you visited our life and you changed us forever. Restore unto us the joy of your salvation. Oh, thank you, Lord. You know, we're going to continue to worship God in and, and just any way He sees fit. But I know we need to pick up our kids. And those of you that have children, would you please go get your kids? And if you want to bring them back in here and, and worship with us, by all means, do that. Uh, we're just going to do a couple more songs and just, just worship the Lord. If you want special prayer, certain special prayer in some area, we have ministry teams that are available in the back. Please go back. And they've been praying and, and just all day just waiting for uh, an opportunity to pray with someone. So please go back there and, and see them or just gather around some folks here and just uh, allow the Lord to just minister to you. We don't want anybody to leave this place without being touched by God. And, and I know if you're in here, He's already touching you. Matt, guys, just go ahead. Let's worship the Lord.
enjoy, so you guys clap along and help us out. Mommy told me not to drink this, but it just looks like grape juice. I think I better. Natalie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, One it's grape juice. Oh, Mommy said it was that, but maybe it's the same thing. I better drink it. <laughs> so the solution was to go further up the hill. What are you doing? You have to leave for the wedding and like, look at what I got! Uh oh, uh oh, we better go get the cheer, 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 cheer. Uh, I'll just go over here and get the cheer, and then maybe we could like get that off of you. Do you know what, Natalie? <laughs> 15 minutes later, you better not ever do that to me again, okay? I'll why you want to. Remember, always use. Cheer, 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 cheer.